What's up guys, it's Zach aka Homes with an X and today I saw a Greyhound. So I know I missed last week's video, I'm really sorry about that, I just had a lot on my plate. And so here's what I've been up to. First of all I took the spark out in some high winds and it was early one morning I really wanted to get this shot over the skate park and I just thought I'm going to risk it, I'm going to see how it goes. These winds were gusting at about 43 kilometers an hour which is not that windy for Wellington but pretty windy nonetheless and the drone was getting moved around a lot it was having to work really hard to stay in place but still I got some great shots the stabilization worked a treat Now the other thing I've been testing is the sport mode on the Spark and man it is fast, it's so much fun. I've also been finding it really helpful for shooting uh, kind of longer shots because you can move, you can cover more distance without having to speed up the footage and that's helpful for when you've got a moving subject in your footage such as people or cars because if you speed up the footage it's going to become noticeable that the that everything's moving a lot faster. So I've been playing around with that, it's a lot of fun. It's quite different to flying the home-built DIY drones that I've been making, which are very fast as well, but also a lot more stable, so I really like that about it. So there are still a couple of features I haven't tested yet, uh, such as the quick shot and the tracking modes. So I'll experiment with those a little bit and put them in some of my future videos. I'm sure that they're great. Uh, I, just, I just enjoy flying it manually, so that's my preference. So that's it for today's quick video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and thanks again to all you subscribers. It just jumped up a little bit. I'm not quite sure why, but I do really appreciate it. So if you haven't subscribed already, do that now. Leave me a comment, share the video, give it a like. That's it, guys. Thanks. See you next time.